I accidentally first started collecting records uh, when I bought a CD online and the company that I bought it from uh, sent me an LP and I guess it was just kind of a happy accident. I started correcting records by uh, one time I went to a concert in Toronto with my friends, a band called The World Is A Beautiful Place. And my buddy was collecting records at the time too, and he just started and he showed me that band and it was just the most amazing sound I've ever heard. As soon as I got it, I opened it up and realized how much more I liked um, all of the expanded artwork and um, the, the colors, that the, all the variations, uh, the whole collecting aspect of vinyl immediately was like really um, intriguing to me. I think overall, like just the like, hate to be so cliche, but just the hipster kind of feel and like you're kind of supporting the band and all that, especially if like you buy all these small local bands that like you go to see at like small venues and stuff like that. Like you feel like you're kind of giving more to the band. But yeah, in the end, like I think record collecting as a whole is just kind of like the nostalgic, like you feel like you're doing something that used to be cool kind of thing. I have no, I've heard a million times people talk about the the beautiful crackle of vinyl and uh, I mean it does sound amazing and there are people who put uh, the time and effort into um, mastering their music for vinyl but most of the time you're not gonna the, unless you're some kind of uh, audiophile with a nice setup you're not gonna notice any kind of uh, distinct difference but um, I guess it's just more of a feeling of uh, putting uh, a record physically onto a turntable and gives people kind of like a warm uh, like nostalgic feeling. If you're into like the sound audiophile, so like the best sound ever, some that's why some people are into it. It's just depends. Like it's a very different thing. Like there's different reasons why different people are into it. But I think the whole general spectrum falls into nostalgia. The best part of going to a record store is. Um, a lot of the time I find is that uh, you have like a curated soundtrack in the background. Usually somebody who works there is like putting on their favorite record or something that's just come into the shop. Um, it's usually on display. Um, so I find myself going in there taking out my headphones just so I can listen to whatever's going on in there. The conversation, the people calling into the store, the different kinds of people that you see uh, browsing the bins there, like it's every every day that you go in there is different. Being able to go in and look at a, a used section that just keeps cycling in and out of the different people that drop off their stuff. If I like the record enough, I will like it enough to own it on a hard physical copy and just come down to like supporting the band. Like I said, like most of the records I own are from small bands, small independent bands that aren't on most major labels. So it's like, I don't feel like I'm giving to some big corporation. I kind of feel like I'm giving more to the band. And it comes down to what I said earlier about the nostalgia. Like everyone's all about the vinyl nowadays. And then even like cassette made a little comeback there for a little bit. Um, I have a feeling maybe one day CDs will make a comeback. Record stores will just, I think they'll just be more honestly. Um, people talk about vinyl coming back, but I feel like vinyl's just been coming back since the 90s when it started to like die, when they started to stop issuing things on vinyl immediately people just start it just became this like cult of like uh, we still like vinyl and it's coming back and it's been coming back ever since that beginning uh, ever since the 90s the generation coming up is being built on buying local and supporting local and not supporting the big guys anymore they're more supporting the small guys because just overall the corporate greed and all the politics behind big corporations like H&B and Sunrise are being more exposed and we have more access to see how like evil sort of say that they actually are and how much we need to support local businesses how much we need to support the people that are around us and keep the small guys going because the big corporations aren't always going to be there they're just there for the money grab and it's kind of yeah just support local is more the way the world's going nowadays